did buy a pair of Gucci trainers, but I returned them. So I thought £400 for a pair of trainers. I'm going to wear my feet. Then I bought fake ones for about 60 quid. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge wardrobe declutter. It's one of them jobs that I've been putting off and putting off like I really didn't want to do it. Just don't like doing it, to be honest. And my wardrobe's getting really full to the point is, is when I'm washing clothes, I can't get them in and that's a problem for me. I have three bags of clean washing out there, like mine and Sean's, that I need to put away. And I've been putting off putting them away because I know they won't fit in any of my drawers. So I thought this Sunday we're gonna just declutter it all. I have like three main sections to my wardrobe, like clothes sections. Um, I have like this section here, which is like coats, which has actually accumulated a lot of coats recently because in my clothing hauls I've been doing a lot of coats, buying a lot of coats because I did lack coats, but now I'm thinking maybe I should get rid of ones that I just know I won't use. And then I have like a few drawers, Nick has socks and odds and ends. And then I have a few drawers here, one's a pajama drawer. One is a like trouser drawer, tro um, bottoms drawer. The bottom is, what even is in here? Just clothes that I've bought, just been shoved in there. Then this is kind of my knitwear drawer. So I have like knitwear jumpers and cardigans in this section. And then in this section, it's like my tops and shirts and like everyday stuff and shoes and honestly it's just overgrown so i'm going to be sorting out a pile to put on my depop i'm going to be sorting out a pile um to give away to charity as well and obviously keeping stuff as well because i'm not getting rid of my full wardrobe i need to get started and then i have to put away three bags of washing so today we're just chilling sorting the wardrobe get yourself a cup out i've got a flat white with oat milk with two shots of coffee because i needed it today <sighs> and let's get cracking now as you can see this section has got quite a bit full i'm just going to bring everything out and then put in what i feel needs to stay <laughs> okay and then look at this even this is terrible so that can go on the floor for now i actually got sent this off sheen for christmas which is actually really cute it's a little pajama set so cute i haven't used it yet though so i'm gonna keep that in my wardrobe space that is just a little tub and that is rubbish see this has just got too much of the section i have for me coat so if i can't fit them in here they're not allowed to stay so i need to sort out if i need to keep it now i'm definitely keeping this fluffy black one because i got it when i went to where did i go with sean i went somewhere and i went to pull and bear and it's like a fluffy back coat and i actually really like it i really like this one i recently bought off asos as well it's like a padded black one with a belt so she can stay honestly like i am brutal when it comes to sorting out things like i'm not a hoarder at all i just get rid of stuff so please don't be offended by the amount of stuff i get rid of i will either be reselling it or giving it to a charity so they'll all be going to like good places cropped puffer coat but the thing is, white's just not my colour. I never ever wear white because I know that I'll get it dirty. And I feel like I just haven't worn this in the amount of time I've had it enough. So I feel like this one is going to go on my Depop. It's from Fabletics and I actually love it, but I just don't wear it enough. I really do love shackets and I think they're really handy. So yeah, I am going to keep this black and white one because I like it. Look at that big pile of stuff though going to another home. Like honestly, I'm so glad it's going to another home because yeah, it means that I can get stuff that I wanted. But honestly, I feel like these will still be full once I put the clean washing away. Okay, I desperately need to sort the drawers because these are actually the worst bit. So this is like my underwear drawer, which I'm just going to quickly rearrange because it's not too bad. This is my trouser drawer, which get stuck these are my favorite jeans they're wide legged blue jeans i got them from primark ages ago they're staying it's my white tennis skirt which i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of hopefully in the summer so that is staying uh, this is quite small but it does fit and i do like it so she actually mm, i feel like i will wear her so she can stay they're the leather look or wet look trousers which i like they're staying oh this is me set that i love 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 
so that is staying these are like my newer clothes that i've been getting that was the grey corset i like that so that can stay i may hang the corset up that's the black corset she can stay oh i didn't love that i can go right so that's cleared that drawer up for now and then i have the bottom drawer okay so in this bottom drawer i've put all of my jeans and my wet look trousers and then my denim shorts are at the bottom as well with my denim skirt oh actually i'm gonna put that red cord skirt in there as well because kind of the same vibe so that's my jean drawer which shuts a little bit better now just have to push them on this one's empty and i'm not sure what to put in here because i feel like i'm gonna hang my corsets up and hang my summer dress up i might put my tennis skirts i've only got two actually i might have another one in there i'm not sure um that's my little set which i feel like i want to hang up so i'm not really sure what i'm going to put in here yet so she's staying vacant for now okay so these three are the next things so this is meant to be like it's basically a drawer because every time, like, it meant to be me everyday pants, so like joggers, leggings, and stuff like that. But it does need a sort. I actually really like these ones. These ones are from Home Bargains. They're just me cleaning um, joggers, like, for when I'm doing the cleaning, so they can stay as well because they're a bit big on us. But I just got them from Home Bargains. No, I got one set from Home Bargains and one set from Poundland's Pep and Co range. Honestly, if you haven't checked them out, check them out because they're so good okay what else have i got in here oh see these are the wet look leggings which i like but i feel like i prefer the trouser version because they're just flatter us a bit more so i feel like i might get rid of that set okay these are my favorite joggers ever whoops they're like corset waist i've actually got the black version on now they're so nice so they are staying these are my trousers I like these. They're just a smart pair of black pants if I want to be a bit more smart. What else? Me cord pants. I like me black cords. They're staying. And then I got these from the same seller on Depop. These, can anybody tell? I'm obsessed with the Burberry pattern. I love Burberry. Like, I feel like, well, actually it is. Burberry's my favourite designer ever. And I keep wanting to buy a pair of Burberry trainers, like real Burberry ones, but... I just never have because I can never like that's the thing with me I don't see the value in designer items so a lot of the time if I want the aesthetic of a designer item I buy it from like a holiday place so like Turkey where it's like a knockoff or I look for it on eBay like I got that Burberry coat on eBay for 30 quid and I was buzzing and it's genuine as well but I just can't justify paying like loads of money for something designer because I've just never been brought up like that so to me it's just like jesus like my mom could do like for example that's the way i always look at it before i make any purchase i'm like well do i need it in my life is it going to make me happy and if it's not and if i don't feel like i need it and i'm like well my mom could do with that money rather than me buying a bag so like i just like yeah like obviously like the big purchases i've made have been me car which to be honest i didn't even buy i've got a little peugeot 107 and i literally love that a bit and i feel like i'll never get rid of her until she dies but yeah like i didn't even pay for her my grandma like paid for it and i paid my grandma off up until i was about like 18 and then what the outstanding balance i had when i was 18 my grandma said that i could keep so i got to keep her after that um so i only really pay my insurance and that on her so the biggest purchase i've ever made is the house and the puppies the puppies were expensive but they are like of value to me and i love them so much but a designer bag wouldn't be uh, you know what i mean like some people love it and thrive off it but i just don't get the the thing about it what's the most expensive designer item i've ever bought nothing my gucci bag's fake i did buy a pair of gucci trainers but i returned them so i thought 400 pound for a pair of trainers i'm gonna wear my feet then i bought fake ones for about 60 quid so have i actually bought anything designer no i haven't but these these are um rolf loren men's sleepwear but i really really wanted them for a long time and i got these off depop for 45 pound and i thought that was really expensive and i doubted it so many times but i actually really like them anyway that's me little rant about designer stuff wonder if i'll ever become the type of person who like buy real designer stuff and be like "Ooh, i love it but as of yet i'm yet to get the hype oh these were far too big on us they have to go right so these are the trousers i'm keeping i've never seen you clearer than the we're flying high my head zippity doo da zippity a my oh my what a wonderful day that's empty now which is good this is me jarmy draw it needs sorted i mean look at the state of that little vest top uh, no floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves can you feel it almost like i don't know if it's real because when we're doing our thing 
Okay, this drawer has literally accumulated new stuff that I've been buying that I've just not really had anywhere to put. Okay, that's my turtleneck that I got from ASOS, so that needs hung up. And these ones are my boiler suits. They can stay, actually, because they are beautiful. Okay, so things are definitely starting to look a little bit emptier now. I'm just going to put the things away. Look at that big pile of clothes I'm getting rid of. Good riddance. I needed rid of it. I'm going to put all the stuff away that's still, like, out on the floor. Sort the hangers. And then I need to sort through the three bags of washing that I need to put away. Honestly, it's a task that I hate doing. But it's got to be done. Because I've literally been putting this off for about a week now. Look at the state of us, man. Who else would come online and show themselves like this? You think I'd have some decency to get ready for you, but just can't be arsed. I'm not going anywhere, so I. And my skin has got a huge rash on it. I feel like every time I see someone on YouTube and they always look like, you know, so presentable, I get jealous because I'm like, oh Christ, I wish I always looked as good as you. But then I'm just like, but that's not my reality. Like, I literally look presentable probably 20% of the time, if that. Half the time I just look like this. Hair shoved in a bun scraped back clothes that just don't match but you live and learn or you live in you live and look ugly that's what i decide to do but my face has actually got a huge rash on it and i'm not sure how my lips are chapped <sighs> i'm not having a good time at the minute are my kids it's time to get your bets in who do you think has got the most clean washing that hasn't been put away do you think i've got the most clean washing sean or general, because general would be like towels, tea towels, and bedding. Or do you think it's me or Sean? Because there's three bags, and I just feel like what the hell is in them? One, two, three. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. one down two to go and so far majority of it is probably mine but it's a close call between mine and general which is like towels and tea towels majority of this basket was Sean's gone one to go so far I'd say Sean's is the biggest pile actually no probably general because mine hasn't put that many in there and general's looking big does anybody else find like games to play with like household chores or is it just me Does anybody else get so excited when their favourite item comes out of the wash? I'm like, oh, Teresa, where have you been? I missed you, darling. I've named me bra Teresa. Actually, that's the name of my dad's new girlfriend, but she's been called Teresa for quite a while. But I feel like I need, might need to change her name because now there's a Teresa in my life that I can associate with a bra. That's a bit weird. Funny. No, that's the name of Fab Hand's dog. Um, Elizabeth. I don't know an Elizabeth so that bra is named Elizabeth now and Elizabeth is a great friend in my life and I tell you when she comes out the wash she's probably all I wear till she next goes in the wash actually tell a lie which is a great bra so my washing spread in a few piles simply because obviously it's going in different places so this is mine this is mine and this is mine 
and then that's general towels and that's tea towels and that big pile there's two piles of Sean's actually think in this load of washing Sean had the most or maybe general but nonetheless this is the washing so whoever you had a bet on you can judge if you think you won or not but anyway I need to put all this away just put some clean jammies on because you know just when like you've put all the clean washing away I just feel like I need to get into some clean jammies and feel refreshed and that's definitely a job I feel refreshed after doing like Jesus Christ, I'm getting so unfit. I went on a bike ride the other day and I think I managed to do about an hour and a half. It was like an hour, an hour and a half. And oh, I was so unfit after it. I'm gonna go downstairs now and edit this video because I want to get it live tomorrow, which is Monday. But yeah, if you are watching the longer videos till the end, please can you let us know? Comment bear because I'm looking at Henry's bear. But comment bear below if you're actually getting to the end of the longer videos, because I never know like if people actually watch them, because in this channel, my videos are primarily between like 10 and 15 minutes long. I'm not sure how long this one's gonna be, but I feel like it's gonna be longer than that. So when my videos are longer than that, I always wonder like, is anybody actually watching them or am I just like chatting shit to myself? So yeah, comment bear so I can kind of get a grasp of how many people actually get to the end and hope you enjoyed this video please stay tuned for wednesday's video i post monday wednesday to friday at 4 30 pm it would really help if you turned on all notifications because youtube just does not notify people of my channel anymore so that's a bit of a problem trying to sort it out but anyway thank you for watching i appreciate you all so much and i'll see you again for another one bye